You want to post a podcast episode on the SoundCloud? Let's get to it. Okay, so right over here, I have already signed in to my account. If you guys haven't done it, I'm assuming you know how to create an account. That stuff is easy. Let's not waste time on that. But right here, we have the Eye of the Watchers podcast, the podcast that I do about League of Legends esports. This is my profile page, as you can see. And what we're going to do, we're going to upload. So this is very simple. We have an upload button right up here. You click on that, choose a file to upload. And what's going to happen is I'm going to go through my files. We're going for eWatch, episode 15. This one is the final one. But I would always suggest listening to hey it. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Eye of the Watch podcast. That much different. Really impressive because you have... I don't think they look give you all the support and insight you need to get hyped about League of Legends esports. See you guys next time. Cool. Hey guys, welcome so to- I would always check the beginning and parts of the way through your episode after you render it because hey, we've all been there. If you've podcasted for a while, if you haven't, then you haven't experienced it yet, but you always find ways for things to go wrong. It's an awesome experience. So make sure you check your audio. So we're uploading it, very, very simple. This is only 37 megabytes. It's gonna upload very quickly. We can already see it almost there, but this progress bar is not just for uploading, it's also for processing, which takes some time on SoundCloud's part. So we have all this information here that we want to fill in. So I put the title right here, which is a bit long, but that's okay. And then you can actually customize your URL. This is a really long URL. I'm probably gonna put a 10 thoughts, uh, 10 thoughts week nine. I'm gonna just keep it that. Especially if you wanna talk about what your URL is on the podcast, like if you wanna say, hey, you could check this out if you're interested in it. Or if you're referring to it from another video, you could be like, hey, the URL soundcloud.com slash ewatch slash 10 dash thoughts slash week dash nine. Uh, some people wanna do that. I don't personally care. I just wanna make it clean and not super, super long when pe other people link it or if I wanna link it somewhere else so it's not like, ridiculous amount of characters, right? So for the genre, SoundCloud is mostly for music. So they don't actually have a podcast genre. So I use my custom, I type in podcast over here, tags, esports, Riot Game, NALCS, and then you can click add or you can press the tab button. Don't use commas because that doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't work. So you just press tab when you want to put that in. And then maybe I'll also put uh, lol esports. Okay. And then I just made a description really quick. First line is very important whenever you do anything. Well, people are going to scroll through and maybe click on your stuff or not. So they can, you know, it could be very catching. I also have an article that I reference because the whole bot episode that I'm posting here is actually reading this article and talking about my thoughts from uh, whether I disagree or agree with author. And then our contact information for everyone that's on the podcast. And then we're going to set it to public. You could set it to private if you still want to mess around with it. Let's say I don't have the description done yet, but I want to hurry up and upload it. Maybe I want to upload it overnight because I have a slow connection or it's a big file. I want to upload it before I go to the gym. If you just want to upload it and not have it go public, you press private, right? And right now I'm just going to go public in the metadata. I don't fill out any of this stuff. I think this is very important for music, but not for podcasts. So yeah, I pretty much skip everything in there. And then another thing that I think is very important, enable downloads. You don't want to limit people from your podcast from uh, with your podcast to not download it. Again, SoundCloud is mostly for music and artists, musicians and artists, not necessarily for podcasters, even though they try to push it. Uh, you want to always make sure they enable download downloads for music musicians and artists. The reason why they have that unchecked so they can't steal it or use it without your permission or if you want to sell it. Those kind of reasons. Offline listening, that's fine. You definitely want to include it into your RSS feed, especially if you do not have a podcast or especially if you're trying to make this a podcast. This is where it goes. RSS feed and this is how it gets to iTunes, uh, Stitcher wherever else other podcast hosting platforms you need an rss feed right play code whatever app playback whatever 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 if you want to take off comments you can do that so save and done it's really that easy it's very very simple with soundcloud there's not as much functionality 
as something like Anchor or Blueberry. It's just very straightforward, very easy. Here is the link that I talked about. So we can click here and hey, check out my episode. This is what the episode looks like. You got the image here, which I said you could customize earlier. You have your title, hashtag podcast. Let's just see what's in there. If you look at track, yep. So a lot of people are posting their podcasts using that. And maybe not that many. I don't know. Huh. Maybe I could be using a better hashtag. I'm not really sure. Click on your stats. You can see the stats, how many people are downloading it, or how many people are playing it. I just released it. I'm not expecting much. All this kind of information. So I can write a comment at specific times when I say I disagree. Very easy. So again, back to this area. <laughs> If I want to share, you can click that, bam. I suggest not doing that because I think social media is, there's better ways to communicate on social media than hitting that share button unless you're listening to other people's content. If it's your content, you probably want to spice it up a little bit, post a thumbnail, post like an audio clip with it wherever you post it onto social media. So this was a really easy, easy episode. Uploading SoundCloud, very, very quick, very, very easy. And so that's pretty much it. It's that simple. If you guys want more content about uh, about podcasting and content creation in the lens of esports, please subscribe as I'll continue putting out that kind of content. And we'll see you guys next time.